This one comes from uh, Jacques Rancière's Short Voyages to the Land of the People. Um, and I've chosen this, it's a rather en enigmatic little book, uh, very interesting, but in this particular passage, he picks up on the theme of islands and utopia, which are pertinent to what you're doing in Cairo, but also very close to my own uh, heart at the minute. I do a lot of work uh, on islands as functional places, but also as metaphors. And this seems somehow to speak to the themes. So here we go. If modern utopia has a meaning, it is assuredly not in the myth of the island that is nowhere, but to the contrary, in this possibility of showing the adequation of text and reality at every point. Thus the apostles of utopia catch in reality's trap those realists of the juste milieu who reproach the apostles both for speaking of things that do not exist and for endangering property, the foundation of all social order. Now it is possible to show them in a single gesture that effective practice and property in its materiality are both on the side of the so-called anarchist dreamers. The houses in flames are the property defended by the San Simeonians, whereas that of the bourgeois speechifiers is only a word. Between the speech of the doctrine and the deeds of the little band, there is no blank space, no interstice by which doubt or refutation can slip in. This is the meaning of travel, to establish at each step between the order of discourse and the order of facts, the immediate correspondence of the lines on the map and the undulations on the ground. Rancière, once again. <laughs>